For a long time now, I have had a need for a workbench in my garage, and I want a really sturdy one. So this will be built using 2x4s, that is 45 by 95 mm I used my SketchUp model to figure out all the different lengths, and could then cut them a bit oversized on my miter saw. Then I could use my table saw to cut them to exact dimensions, using the stop block on the sliding table. When all the pieces were cut to the final size, I could start marking out where to place the dominoes. I went with dominoes both to help lining everything up and also add some strength, because there are a lot of joints with end grain. Then it was just a lot of mortises to be made, but it's a rather quick job with this machine. Dummy proofing everything is essential to me, otherwise I'm guaranteed to screw it up. Thanks to Murphy. A quick sanding removes all the markings I made. Maybe it could be a good idea to dry fit everything, but I felt lucky and went directly to the glue up. Some convincing with a mallet, and then some clamps. On the ends I had to use screws, because I don't have any clamps that are long enough. The construction consists of two identical frames, that I then connect with the legs. The legs are glued with dominoes for the end grain part, and also attached with screws. I could have used clamps here, but I wanted to be able to proceed without having to wait for the one side to set. I could then add the short leg pieces, that I just glued in place, and these set the distance between the two frames. Then it was just to rinse and repeat for the other side. To add the final pieces to the legs, I flipped it upside down, held the piece in place and made a mark where to cut. All the small leg pieces were then just glued in place. A couple of hours later, I could remove the clamps and flick it back up to start with the bench top. For the bench top, I used particle board that are normally used as subflooring. To get rid of the tongue and groove from one side of the board, I used my track saw. Then I measured to get the overhang I was after, and clamped it in place. I marked out some lines, and attached the board with screws. Then it was time for the next piece to be put in place. I marked, and then cut the size. Some glue in the tongue and groove, and attach it to the base with some screws. For the shelf I used the same method. But here I had to make recess for the legs. I could then cut them to size with the track saw and also cut the recesses with the jigsaw. As a top, I used a piece of hardboard or masonite that I glued in place using ordinary wood glue. I placed some sheet on top and started to add weight for clamping pressure. Then it was just to repeat it for the shelf. Due to the legs, it was much easier to use two pieces for the shelf, and I don't think it will matter with a small joint for the shelf. I left it to cure overnight and could then remove all the weights and the clamps. Then it was just to clean all the edges with the help of the track saw. A good garage workbench needs a vise, and I found an old one that would be perfect. A bit rusty though, but I removed most of it. To mount it, I just drilled two holes close to one of the legs, and attached it with some bolts. Some fresh grease on the screws and assembly time. To add some strength, I also added a wood screw in the back. To protect the edges, I decided to use some pieces of flat iron that I had laying around. After cutting it to length, I used my angle grinder to remove most of the rust, marked out the center line and center punched for screw holes. 
all the holes were then countersunk. Deburring and cleaning it with some alcohol. And then some dry fitting. And pre drilling. I mixed up some epoxy to use in combination with the screws. Added it to the bar, held it in place, and added the screws. Then it was just to attach it to the wall with some angle iron and the bench was ready to use. So this is how it turned out. I'm really pleased with it and I'm hopefully going to get a lot of use out of it. If you have some ideas of add-ons, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you in the next one.